Hey there everybody, Eric from Outer Limitless coming at you today with another video. Now in today's video we have a couple of knives manufactured by Work Tough Gear. Here this is the Steadfast designed by Calvin Richardson and here the Hunter by Matt Russo of Russo Steel Works. Now both of these knives in my opinion they're fairly similar yet completely different at the same time. And when I say that, there are definitely some similarities that I can see in these designs. Now, I think this is a very refreshing moment from Work Tough Gear where we're sort of diversifying the lineup, getting some designs that are a little bit different from what we've seen in the past yet complement at the same time. A little bit different where these are tactically or hunting inspired yet at the same time have that crossover to bushcraft a belt knife and a quality camp companion. Now each one of these are in a slightly different place in their sort of lineup evolution. We've already seen an initial drop of the Steadfast at the time of this video and we saw a special release of the Hunter at Blade Show 2024 down in Atlanta. But both of these have their full production runs to go, their full releases to go, and in today's video, we're gonna go through these in detail. But with that said, I have a whole bunch to do and a whole bunch to share with you. And if you're interested in seeing a little bit more about what I'm about to get into, do me a favor, stay tuned. Now, before we get too far, I would like to say thank you very much to the people at Work Tough Gear who did provide these for review. And so as we work our way through these designs, First, we're gonna take a look at the Steadfast. Now the Steadfast here, a full overall length of about 10.5 inches. We have a 5.5 inch blade length and the handle overall length around five inches. You can see here as I grip the knife, we have about four full inches clear between the guard and the back end of that pommel. I have a large size hand and this definitely fitting me nicely. Now when it comes down to the blade steel, we have a 3 16 thick inch spine, Bowler K329. Now I'm certainly not a steel expert by any means, but from what I've come to understand with the Bowler K329, it's in essence a tool steel and it can be kind of generally characterized as having excellent toughness and excellent wear resistance. Uh, oftentimes you'll see this used in different industry, like say for example, when they make the knives that cut in the paper industry or in recycling plants. And if that's any indication of the kind of wear resistance we should see on that cutting edge, I think there's something to be said for that. You know as well as I do, cardboard and paper can quickly dull an edge. So the fact that this is made specifically for that industry, I think definitely will play well for people in their general user's experience. Being composed of roughly 8% chromium, this is not going to be considered a stainless steel, but I do believe that with some basic testing, we should find that this is reasonably corrosion resistant for most people in most scenarios, but you're definitely going to want to protect this and keep this blade well protected and oiled. The handle here, an awesome camo G10 with bright orange liners in this particular color variant. I have seen a number of different offerings from Work Tough Gear. And in this particular case, you will see, I really love the fact that it's smooth. I love the fact that everything is well-rounded, which we've come to expect from Work Tough Gear. There are other variants with different colors and different handle checkering patterns to aid in grip, but I do personally happen to like the smooth grip. I think that will work well for me. Now the Steadfast, again, designed by Calvin Richardson. Calvin Richardson, you can take a look at his Instagram. He does have a number of models that he personally designs and makes. So he's not only a designer, but a maker as well. And this is a knife that has been made as sort of a custom model or his own you know, personal model, but now a Work Tough Gear production collaboration, which is definitely awesome. Getting the knife in hand, it does definitely feel nice and balanced and nimble. I love the overall weight and balance of this knife. It's going to be an excellent size having that five and a half inch blade length. The unsharpened swedge across the top 
piercing, penetration, but it also lightens up the knife and makes it feel very nimble in the hands. You'll notice there is no jimping over the top and in fact, this part of the spine right here has been rounded and softened just enough so that when you get your thumb over the top, it's not gonna dig up your thumb, but at the same time, nice and sharp and squared off 90 degrees right through this section and the fact that this ramps down a little bit, this is going to absolutely shower sparks off a ferro rod with ease. You'll notice that there are strategically placed scallops right on the handle scale. So I do like thumb scallops whenever possible. I personally design that way as well. It aids in alternate grips, the ability to pinch the knife, get up close, but also when you rock the knife to the side, really you gain a ton of control with your thumb for those scraping tasks. And I think this Steadfast is going to do an amazing job. It's actually squared not only right through this section, but all the way down that unsharpened swedge. So that should work very well for your scraping tasks. A little bit of a bead blast on the flats into the satin finish. So very nicely done as always for work tough gear. As I feel this, you know, I'm gonna say this is a full flat grind. It feels maybe subtly, and I'm saying subtly, hollow ground, but I don't think it is. I think that's just, you know, me kind of trying to feel this, but it might be subtly hollow ground into that convexed polished edge that we've come to really appreciate from Work Tough Gear. And as you take a look at that edge, just gleaming, very, very nicely done. Simple lanyard hole, nice and generous, and everything feeling really good in the hands. One just generalization and a little bit of uh, just my observation. If you look at the handle in the sort of profile here, you'll notice that the bottom gets a little bit more narrow, the top a little bit more square. That is actually going to aid in bearing when you're working with the knife. It's a little bit square and blocky through this section, which I know a lot of users really do like. Uh, for me, I tend to like subtly a little more rounding, but this is good. It's not a problem, and you have a very generous guard for those piercing tasks. So again, this is going to really strike the balance between what my mind sees as a tactically inspired knife and one that's gonna be an amazing camp or bushcraft companion. Finished off with the Kydex sheath that Work Tough Gear always does so well. Nice rivets, awesome shape, and just that perfect click. Now I don't get all the hardware with my knives because these are test models, but one thing that is coming up from Work Tough Gear, which is really cool, is their introduction to this mini Bic holder, which you can see here, a mini Bic lighter fitting right in there. And this will made up with any one of the sheaths because everything utilizing 0.75 inch or standard spacing on the eyelets, which is really cool. So you are able to take your knife and build it out into a little bit of a kit. Turning the corner here into the Russo Hunter. So again, this here, at this point, we've really seen a small introduction at Blade Show. Not a ton of information just yet about when this will be released at the time of this video, but this Hunter here, a Matt Russo design, again of Russo Steelworks. Matt Russo being a designer and a manufacturer making some amazing blades. And this here, his collaboration with Work Tough Gear. You'll notice that this does have an overall length of around 9.25 inches. The blade length and cutting edge around four and a quarter inches. The handle 4.75 inches with right around four inches clear for a nice grip. Again, I have a large size hand and everything indexing wonderfully. This particular steel is a three millimeter or one eighth inch thick N690 with a cryogenic heat treatment. The cryo treatment making it just a little bit harder. So that should help increase the overall edge retention. Uh, this could become just a touch chippy, but I've had great luck with N690 and I've never had any problem. Being roughly around 17% chromium, this is a stainless steel. And again, I've had incredibly good luck with my N690 and the ability to keep a wicked edge. I mean, super, super sharp, uh, just with some simple stropping and a fine ceramic rod. 
Again, having that camo G10 handle scale, the bright orange liners. This is the colorway I've seen so far. I haven't seen other options or offerings just yet. You'll notice on the flats, you do have that bead blasted flat, but it has a topo laser etching on it, which is really cool. And then down into the satin finish, and then just work tough gear in their amazing, beautifully done convexed edge. Now this is again very thin at 1 8 of an inch as I feel the knife here flat ground up into a high saber grind the unsharpened swedge and in this particular case everything is squared off so you're squared off through that sort of thumb section and then down over that unsharpened swedge. I don't see there being too much difficulty or problems with your thumb, but that might get a little bit irritating after a while. Just something to consider. It might have been nice if this was softened off a bit, but you can do that to your preference with a little bit of sandpaper and just a little bit of elbow grease, not a big deal. This should also rip on a ferro rod having that little bit of a harpoon. This in this particular case will just just rip right on that ferro rod, nice and square all the way up to that point. So that should work out very nicely. I love the fact that the handle is very rounded out. It does have a guard. It's not quite the same as the Steadfast, where if you look real quick, the Steadfast guard is fully encapsulated in the G10, but here on the Hunter, not quite the same, where it does get exposed up to the tang of the knife. So this will still be a very good option for stabbing tasks. Just keep in mind the fact that your pinky will bear on the steel, but again, it's not a big deal. And it's something that this is very characteristic of many knives on the market. Also exhibiting the well-placed thumb scallops, which I like the ability to get on there for the alternate grips, and especially where for me, this is not only a hunting profile, but really does strike the balance for that bushcraft need. I like the fact that this is a little bit more bushcrafty than the Steadfast, where the Steadfast for me really does have a little more of that tactical profile, a little more stabby, a little more aggressive, uh, but both of these just a beautiful blade shape. I love that, again, we are sort of turning the corner with work tough gear introducing some different blade shapes different opportunities uh, in their lineup and especially with a couple of new designers to the work tough gear outside designer lineup so very very nicely done and of course rounding this off with that awesome kydex excellent click both of these having that pancake style some people prefer taco i personally prefer pancake i love the additional lashing points i don't mind the fact that this ends up with a little more material horizontally and in fact i do personally find that a lot of times I feel as though the pancake actually sits a little bit tighter sometimes because you don't have the big fold over like you do on the taco designs and especially gaining the additional functionality with the additional eyelets. I like that myself. That's just my personal opinion. And so again, a couple of amazing knife designs from outside designers collaborating with Work Tough Gear. There's no denying the Work Tough Gear quality. You know they always bring it. That will absolutely be the case for the Steadfast and the Hunter. I think, again, you've heard me say it a couple of times. These are awesome additions to the lineup. I think it's refreshing. I think we're bringing a slightly different blade shape to the Work Tough Gear lineup. The outside designers for Work Tough Gear have always brought just excellent designs, great diversity, and the fact that everybody comes from a different walk of life, I love it. So from Calvin Richardson with the Steadfast to Matt Russo, Russo Blade Works, and the Hunter, again, these guys absolutely nailing it. And you heard me say before, each one of these is in a slightly different part of its life cycle. Keep an eye out on the Work Tough Gear website, but more importantly, become a fan of their fan group, their Work Tough Gear adventure team. You need to be involved. You have to get in and see what's happening. You get all the feedback. You get the updates, uh, announcements for all the drops. People complain all the time. They can't get their hands on Work Tough Gear knives. They go fast. So pay attention. Get in on the Work Tough Gear Facebook 
Facebook group. I think you'll find that if you're paying attention, you will have the opportunity to get your hands on these awesome blades. And so again, to the people at Work Tough Gear, thank you so much for providing these for review. And for the rest of you, if you like this content, do me a favor, take a look at my Outer Limitless 2 channel, which is more on the tactical and firearm side of things. At this point, that channel is going quickly. I have a ton of videos up there. So if you like what you see here on Outer Limitless, do me a favor and check me out on Outer Limitless 2. So all right, guys, thanks for stopping by. Hope you like what you saw. Hope you found it a little bit informative. If you like what you saw, please like, share, and subscribe. And as always, thanks for stopping by. Take care now. I'll see you soon.